Hi, it's Lee here. Welcome to another episode of Defemarimba 2023. So this is an open challenge hosted by Barbara from 49 Dragonflies and Louisa Heinzel. So we're up to December 18, which is the ninth prompt. And it is plaid and polka dots. Please touch. Now that prompt to me says create something that somebody wants to touch. So something that has texture or it's going to feel nice when you touch it. And um, I took a leaf out of Darcy's book and she looks up the meanings of all the words that are in in the prompts when she's doing her, her creations. So I thought I'm going to have a look at what the meaning of plaid is. So in Australia we call plaid tartan as they do in the UK as well. So I just went and googled what's the meaning of plaid and the original meaning of the word is blanket. So I am going to make a blanket for my journal and it's going to have some polka dots in there somewhere so I'm just going to put that to the side don't you love my robot hello I love his little control panel um, oh let's get back on the subject <laughs> playing with the robot getting as bad as Barbara and Effie <laughs> mucking around together all right I'll pop that over there so what I did this morning when I was over at the shopping centre, I had a runny nose, I didn't have any tissues with me so I ducked into the bathroom and I grabbed some of these paper towels and I thought, you know how you can make the um, paper lace? I thought I'm going to use one or two of these to make some paper lace that will be my blanket. I'm just going to protect my desk with this and I think I'm just going to use some watercolour paint to um, colour this. I'm going to separate the two layers if I can. Alright, so what I'm going to do is put my paint all over this stuff. Then I'm going to, or should I sew it first? So the plan is you sew all over the fabric to make um, like cells I guess to circles or squares or whatever shapes you want and then you wet wet this and then pull it apart um, I have an example I can show you some. I've got a piece of it in this book oh, here, here's one so this is one that I've done. So that was done with a kitchen towel. So you can see the lines of sewing there. And I stained it with um, this forest moss by the look of it. Probably something else. And then wet it and then pulled apart the paper between the, the lines of the sewing. So it's really quite effective. So I'm going to do that. And yeah, I'm going to get my watercolour paints out and start splashing some colours onto that. So I've pulled out a set, uh, my set of Kiritaki paints and I like these because they're really highly pigmented. And I've got a mop brush, so this is um, just a Montmartre one, so it's only a fairly cheap one. And the reason I've picked that one is because they hold a lot of paint and I think I'm going to just work on different colour schemes so um, the colours are sort of set out on the palette here in a logical way so I've got all the greens together so I'm going to start with this colour here which I think is phthalo something phthalo green so I'm going to paint my polka dots on here. Now well, that's going to spread out. Um, so I'm just going to do circles of that colour. So 
so I'm just adding some more pigment to the ones that have sort of probably got a bit too much water on them or in the paint so it's lighter than I wanted it to be okay so I'm going to put that piece of, away to dry oh that's a nice um, I don't know what the word for it would be but I like I like what it's done to the brown paper okay so I put yellows on that one and pinks and purple on this one and I'm just going to dry them off again now they're dry I'm going to do the sewing on the sewing machine all right so this one I've basically just done straight lines so it's reasonably uniform on this one I did a little bit more of an organic pattern now um, I've just done wavy lines cross them over so the bigger your gaps between the sewing the bigger holes you're going to have in your paper lace so the next thing is to wet this down and then start pulling pulling it apart and I'll just do a small part so let's just wet that bit there so what you're going to do is just like this pull the paper apart with your fingers and the sewing the stitching holds the paper together so it doesn't all just disintegrate into nothing and then of course you've got to let it dry and what will happen is that will it becomes a bit like paper mache so um, you know it'll hold its edges so where you push it back like that it's going to stay like that like a ridge of paper I was fascinated by this technique the first time I tried it and I used um, I just used inks so I've never used uh, this paper which is hand towel from the toilets over at the shopping center um, and I the last time I did it on that one that I showed you that I used paper towel so it was just a piece that I'd been mopping up something with and yeah so that worked out really well with the paper towel and um, I think the paper towel might have been a bit stronger than, the, than this but this is working out okay okay so you get the idea you can see how it's if I pick that up how it's turning into that paper like that uh yeah so this one the holes are going to be smaller because the stitching is closer together and i think this is the method i used on the one that's in that journal okay so you can see i'll just hold that up a bit closer how that's taking shape now all right so I'm just going to finish making the holes off camera and then I'll dry everything and um, show you how it's turned out so I'm just rough that up a little bit more um, just to give it a bit more character I possibly may have made the holes like sewn too close together so I think the bigger holes look better slightly bigger so just tearing a few and stretching it around a bit making some of the paper fall out so this one I actually like a little bit more but I've got a feeling that I put something on it maybe some um, something like Mod Podge or some such thing so what I'm going to do with this one is apply some PVA glue. Okay, got some really nice big holes in this. 
this is really organic I wish I'd done this on the other the other pa paper because I quite like that the color of the other one better much better than this not that I don't like this one but the other color appeals to me more now I wonder if I was to squirt some uh, distress oxide or something on there how that would dry up so I think it's gonna have to be purple because there's already purple on there just gonna see just um, so that that oxide the um, this the mica spray I should say does something okay, so I've got some spare bits of paper from when I made my junk journal January book I'm just going to oops so I'm going to pick up some of that So the glue is definitely going to keep it, make it keep its shape. But you know, it's got to be dried again now, doesn't it? Okay, so that's that one. <coughs> Excuse me. I still haven't got rid of the cough um, and having to clear my throat all the time, driving me up the wall. When I edit my videos, I have to take out all the all the coughing and the <coughs> and there's plenty of them. And that looks really nice, doesn't it? That to keep that for something. Alrighty, remember this piece of paper. This is the one that I used to mop up the uh, excess ink. I'm going to glue that onto there. Okay, so that looks quite good. I'm gonna let that dry, of course. Story of my life. Okay, so I pop that over there, and I've went ahead and um, Di had sent me some homemade paper, or handmade paper. <coughs> Excuse me. And I punched out a few circles, so some more polka dots, and I thought maybe I could do something with these. I've trimmed this down so it's just a little bit smaller than the page size and I'm going to hinge it over the top of this page so that it is a flip up and um, it is a blanket covering up whatever's underneath it. Yeah, I'm just going to, to make the hinge I'm simply going to fold over a little bit of you know, about half an inch or so. So I can either hang it on the top of the page, which is actually that way, yeah, it's the top, like that, and it can hinge up like that, or I can stick it onto the page, so it's like that. Um, I would like to put, just scuff a little bit of the, um, uh, Called gilding wax over that. Gilding. There's so much texture on there. It's um, picking the uh, gold up. I do need to put a couple of these polka dots on here. They don't really stand out. These ones will. I've got this like a fluoro yellow gelato and um, that's just lifted them up nicely so I'm not sure about that one now or those little ones I'm thinking I'm just going to put on those these ones here so there's five of them which is good that's an odd number I would like to go around the edge of this the gelato it's like highlighter yellow really 
because when I get to the recycled fairy that's where it's going to go on this page so because I like the way that that um, contrasts with this against that purple now I would like to put stabilo around the edge of this before I glue it down okay so that's that this never gets boring for me doing this that always is so satisfying <laughs> just love the way it reacts to the water it's like eyeliner for your page okay so now I'm just gonna glue on my circles, my polka dots I'll choose where I want to put them okay I just want to go over a little bit more a bit more of this lime limey yellow on there I think it's mixing with the purple and it's turning a bit brown so the purple must be still a little bit wet. Yeah, this one actually feels damp. This one doesn't. Uh, I think that will do. You know what I'm going to do with them? They're going to be flowers. I'm going to use um, Aileen's tacky glue because of all the texture and everything that's on these these um, surfaces. I think needs a really strong glue and I think I'll just um, draw the stalks on we'll do this one first because it's the longest going to glue that down onto the page before I do that I'm just going to round these corners it's bugging me that they're pointy looks better going to clip those on down until that glue sets Ooh, those clips are just long enough <laughs> should I go that way that's better alrighty so what this will be is my plaid blanket with polka dots so that'll lift up and then when I get to that's the next prompt and then the, for the 20th of December is Recycled Fairy and my fairy is going to live uh, up under here so that's why I'm not putting anything else under there alrighty so the only other thing I've done to this is to go over the stalks and around the outside with my gold paint pen and I have actually put this into the folder 
<clears throat> I'll just take it out so I can hold it up and show you all the beautiful texture that's on on this page. I hope you can see it. it. It feels amazing. It looks amazing. It's just got so much depth in there. So um, this is my plaid and polka dots. Please touch. So yes, if you see this, you want to put your fingers on it and um, feel all that beautiful texture. I haven't quite glued that on straight, so just, obviously, <laughs> as usual, haven't glued it on straight. Okay, so that's my blanket, my plaid blanket with polka dots. And on this page underneath, there's nothing on there at the moment, but remember how I made the two bits of, of um, that uh, paper lace? Well, the prompt, this prompt here, day after tomorrow is Recycled Fairy. So I'm going to be using this other piece for my Recycled Fairy to, to go towards that uh, creation. And my fairy is going to live underneath that. So this is, turns into a flip out and let's just pop it back into the book. Into the folder. The folder's getting hard to put things in and out of now so I've got one more page that has to go in there and then I need to start doing stuff on the backs of things all right let me know what you think of this I love the way the colors have worked out there considering that started off as a piece of hand towel with watercolor circles painted on it and that's what it is now Alrighty. Thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you don't like it. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment. Love it when you leave comments. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you for Nature's Treasure on the t uh, 19th, 19th of December. Okay, till then, happy crafting. Hugs and cheers from Australia. Hooroo!